guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I am doing a master bathroom clean with me. I hadn't cleaned my bathroom in a couple of days so I wanted to do a quick deep clean. So if you guys are in need of some cleaning motivation then you are in the right place. Just keep watching. Today's video is in collaboration with another YouTube mama. Her name is Brooke Foster, and she is pretty new to YouTube, so definitely go check out her channel and her Instagram. Her feed is beautiful. She has a little girl named Collins. I love that name. And they just have the sweetest little family. So definitely subscribe to her YouTube channel. Follow her on Instagram. She just shared some really personal stuff on her YouTube channel. So definitely go show her some love. I will have her channel and her video linked down below. Now let's jump into this cleaning routine. So the first thing I do is turn on a podcast. I've been loving this one by Jordan Lee Dooley. It is called The She Podcast. It's super good. I love Jordan. I'm actually doing her Bible study with a group of girls. So if you need a good podcast, I would check that one out. But I am just cleaning everything out of the bathroom and starting from the top and working my way down. So I'm starting with cleaning off the mirrors. I quickly want to mention that I am cleaning everything off right here with the Method Glass Cleaner. Then I'm moving in with this Caldrea countertop spray in the Rosewater Driftwood scent. This is my favorite scent so far by Caldrea. It's a more high-end cleaning product on Grove Collaborative's website. This will run you about $13, but if you build up some credits, it's definitely worth the splurge. If you guys are new to Grove, you can sign up using my link below, and you can get some free goodies while you're at it. So I will have that link down below in my description box. But I'm just wiping down the cabinets and the faucet and everything that's on the countertops. Not only do I use this Caldrea countertop spray to wipe down the countertops, but I also use it for my sink bowls and it did a really good job. This stuff cuts through the grease like no other. I don't know what it is about it or what's in it, but it cleans so well. I also wipe down the wall right here because I do use a charcoal powder to whiten my teeth and it never fails to get on the white wall. Then I wipe down this other little caddy that we have in the bathroom because dust likes to show up on black. And then I go ahead and take down the main bath towel. That's really the only one that we use. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the wash. Then I'm going in the shower and I'm using my Method Foaming Bath Cleaner. And I always wear some gloves, but this is the brush that I clean the shower with. And I'll go ahead and show you what else I have in this little caddy. Um, just some Clorox wipes and then my Caldrea countertop spray and room spray. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. 
I like to wear gloves because I do have eczema on my hands and this stuff just kills my hands. Even water kills my hands right now. They are cracked and just not doing very well. So gloves are a must. And then I head on in to the shower ready to go. So I just spray it all down with some warm water. Luckily our shower head is detachable so I can reach over here really easily but it is a walk-in shower. There isn't a door so I couldn't get all the way in to the shower to show you guys but it's pretty deep. So I quickly sped this process up on camera but it actually took a long time to get the top and the bottom and the inside of the shower all nice and clean. After I'm done with the shower, then I'm moving on to the dreaded toilet. This is my least favorite part. Um, I hate even showing this, but I want to keep it real for you guys. So I'm just using a Clorox wipe to wipe the toilet down and get all the nasty germs off of there. It is flu season, so I'm trying to contain all of the germiness in the house. And then I take this Clorox toilet wand. This is like the best invention ever. It's all right there and it's disposable so you don't have like a brush that's been in the toilet just sitting there. I don't know why but that grosses me out so much. So I love this. Then once I'm done I like to take a Clorox wipe and wipe down all of the handles and around it and also the light switches. Anywhere that we are constantly touching and possibly getting some bacteria or germs on, like I said, we aren't about to try to get the flu around here. And then I wipe down our scale because with it being on the floor, it tends to get pretty dusty. And then I move on to the floor. So I just take a dry Swiffer. This is just the easiest way for me to sweep it all up really quickly. And then I take a wet Swiffer and I mop the whole floor as well. And then I just let it dry for about five minutes or so before I brought everything else back in. These mops are Gain scented and they smell so good. I love mopping the floor because it smells like freshly washed laundry afterwards. Once it is dried, I go ahead and put the rugs back into the bathroom. Um, I didn't wash these because I washed them at the beginning of the week, so there was no need to. But I just set my scale back down, and then I go ahead and light a candle. I was about to go ahead and get in the shower, so I thought that I would go ahead and light the candle and then spray some room spray. Like I said, this is like my favorite scent ever, and the mahogany teak wood and this Caldrea scent go really nicely together. So that is it for this cleaning video. I hope that this gave you a little bit of motivation to clean your bathroom. Honestly, it is my least favorite part to clean in the house, but after it's done, it feels so much better. I don't know what it is, but if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And don't forget to go check out Brooke's channel as well. I know you guys are going to love her. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.